Welcome to Chappie TV. Let's pray. Dear God and Father, I bless that this day goes really well, that our um, class has worked really well, and I hope that this chapel goes really well. Amen. Wow, what a whole lot of wind blowing around that tree. You know, life can be like that sometimes. We can feel like we're getting blown around by all the things that might happen or when we make a mistake and we feel like we're stuck and we feel like there's no hope and that people are gonna think we're stupid and God's not gonna to wanna to be around us. But you know what, God is strong like that tree. And even though it was really windy, that tree did not go anywhere and God is like that. He doesn't go anywhere when we muck up and when we make a mistake and when we sin. He wants us to run to him and to hang on. He doesn't want us to run away from him because he loves us so much and he forgives us. And so he's strong and he's faithful and he's good. Friday, can you tell me how you feel when you make a mistake? I feel like God's a little disappointed in me because I could do better. I could, you know, not make that mistake and I know I shouldn't have done it, so. Okay, and how about you, Kaya? I feel like God's just disappointed in like that he doesn't forgive us and like he's like in his head saying like all oh, me and like, oh, she did she did it again, she needs to like learn better and like walks away and doesn't take like push it for each other anymore. Okay. And so maybe what would you tell someone else who's made a mistake? Everyone makes mistakes and they help you improve. Yeah. That's true, everyone does make mistakes, don't they? And it's yeah. great if we can learn from them. Even and what, teachers do. Even teachers make mistakes, absolutely right. And what about you, Kaya? What would you tell somebody who's made a mistake? Um, you've made a mistake, it's all right, you can improve, and everybody usually makes mistakes, like parents, and not adults, and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. And you can help them out with their, with their mistake. Mm -hmm. Great. And what about you, Bridie? What would you say to somebody? Um, God will still love you no matter what mistake you make. Yeah. So we all make mistakes, but God still loves us no matter what mistake we make. You yeah. think we all agree with that? Yeah. Even though sometimes it doesn't feel like that, does it? Sometimes our feelings say, God's disappointed, mm -hmm. God's running away from me, God will be angry at me. The truth is that God loves us, isn't it? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, so 1 John ver chapter 1 verse 9. But if we confess our sins, he will forgive our sins because we can trust God to do what is right. He will cleanse us from all the wrongs we have done. Forgiven. What are you doing? Teaching Gary sums. Oh, you're teaching Gary some stuff. Yeah. Nice. I really like the way that when you got it wrong, you just crossed it out and redid it. Do you know what we've just been talking about? That memory verse says that if we confess our sins to God, he forgives them. And the Bible says that when he forgives our sins, he forgets them. 
But for us, we don't forget our mistakes and our sins, do we? But just like you've done up here, we can learn from them. And that's what's really important. We can learn from our mistakes. We don't forget them, but God forgives our sins, which is super great. What a good God. And you know, as we were talking about before, sometimes we feel like God won't forgive us. Sometimes we feel like he's mad or angry at us. But the truth is, there is nothing that you can do to make God love you any more or any less than he already does. He just loves you full stop.